Hello, hello. My name is Alice and I like creating things and today I am going to redesign my subscribers logos. So I asked on Instagram as I always do for your logos and I got a bunch of replies and I've picked out three to do today. So yeah, I guess let's get straight into it. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already and I hope you enjoy it. So coming over into Adobe Illustrator, the first logo I'm going to do is one for Holly Jane. So Holly says, hi Alice, I'm a student graphic designer. I always struggled with designing my own logo because I'm so picky with it. I feel you. Right now, it's just a letter mark of my initials, H and J combined. Would love to see what you, another designer, could do with it. Now, this one really caught my eye because I actually love where she's going with this. I just want to tweak it a little bit. I want to put my spin on it. So, as always, I've been on Pinterest and I've saved a bunch of ideas and I'm gonna sort of combine Holly's design and merge it in with some of these ideas. This one is the one that I can't really have a fixed idea until I start playing around with it. So I thought, let's just do it together. So I like in this one in particular, how the J and the H are combined. Again, this one is sort of along the same vibes as Holly's. Uh, this one's a bit too rigid, but I liked the example of the J going around the H. And the same with these ones, really. This one's not as obvious. Um, and then I thought this one, obviously that's not a J, but I could combine it that way. So I'm gonna stick to letter mark idea, but just see where it goes. So first up, I need the letters. My favorite job, <laughs> choosing the fonts. So I'm just gonna go through what fonts I have on my system. If not, I'll go to Adobe Fonts and we will find some fonts. So these are some of the fonts I found. I'll click on them so you can see the names. So we've got Ocol, Diletto, Cafilosa, and Alt Rect Solid. The top three are from Envato. I'm presuming the bottom one is either an Envato or an Adobe one. I'm sure you can Google it and find them. So I like the top one, to be honest, Ocol. I'm gonna move all these up and out of the screen so I have them if I change my mind. I definitely recommend doing that if you design things because I don't know about you, but I change my mind a lot. And then we are gonna have a play around with these. So I don't know if I'm definitely gonna use this font, but I just like how they've sort of chopped the letters off at an angle. I'm thinking maybe I can try something like this. Play around with negative space, maybe. We're just going to give it a go. So I'm going to try, i actually probably going to end up using my favourite font. Let's just clear all things. Avenir. Uh, let's go heavy. So if we get the H on this. So I've distorted that slightly. And now I'm going to find a J. I don't like that one. So I'm going to see if I can find one I can sort of like work from. <laughs> I feel like I'm sort of getting somewhere. I'm a lot better off than I was here. That just looks strange. This, still not exactly right, but I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I feel like it's not immediately obvious what it is, but I quite like that. I feel like you could sort of play on that. You could add like Holly Jane next to it and use that as a symbol. It's actually sort of reminding me of my own logo. So this is my logo. Uh, pretty basic, an A and a T, and I just, I kept it simple. So maybe we can sort of stick with those vibes, or we could try the shape builder. So if I, so I can get rid of like certain elements of this, 
so I want to join that up. That and that I want to be joined together. Same with these. If you press option, you can get rid of things. <laughs> this is where you could start playing with negative space. I like that. Is it weird? A little bit. But I mean, we could get on board with it. Let me just do a quick like mock-up of this on like an image. Okay, so I found a photo on Envato. Now regularly I would do this on Photoshop, but just for like demonstration, we'll just do it on here just so we can see what it would look like. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I'm not sure if it'll be Holly's cup of tea, but we will see, we will see. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So the next one is Abby and Abby says, here's my current logo. I'm an interior design student currently and will be using this for my business when I complete the course. How exciting. Wombat and Willow will be focused heavily on using Australian suppliers and materials and businesses to create interiors that make you feel 100% at home and adore your space. I love that. And I particularly liked the name and like the ethos. So had to go with this. So for this one, I actually want to try something I've not really tried before, but I see around quite a lot. And it's these like modern serif fonts. So it's just like a modern twist on like a classic font. I feel like serifs are coming back in. So, I mean, you can sort of see here, I've downloaded some examples on Pinterest. They're very simple. I don't want to do it too obvious where there's literally a house in the background because Abby's existing logo obviously doesn't have anything to do with house. It just, the only inclination of what it is, is the interiors part. So I'm going to stick to that sort of vibe, but I'm just going to, I'm going to attempt to make it look sleek. <laughs> we will see. So I have been on trusty Envato Elements again. You're going to get bored of me saying this, but I've downloaded about 15 different fonts that all sort of fit the category of the like modern serif typeface thing. So we're going to have a play around with this. Uh, I'm going to put all these fonts in. I'm thinking actually I'm going to use two different fonts for each word like Abby has currently on her logo but for now I'm just going to type the whole word in and we're going to grab those fonts. is a lot of fonts. Can you see I got carried away? Uh, I'm not going to name them all, but I have made like a collection on Envato, so I'll leave that linked in the description so you can have it. I'm going to write that down because I always forget to leave links in the description. <laughs> if I do forget, tell me in the comments. But I think this was a good practice for me to instantly get rid of the ones I don't like. So I don't like that one. Don't like that one. Don't like that one. That one. No, no. I'm not sure about that one. No, actually, I don't like that one. I love the ampersand on this. How beautiful is that? <laughs> I want that as a print. How on earth do I narrow these down? I really love this one. I feel like this one is my favorite. Okay, we're gonna go with these. <laughs> so first of all, I love this ampersand. So I'm using that. And I also love how the O and the M have been connected. So maybe I could replicate that on this one. First up, I'm gonna copy all these over and out so I don't lose them, so I have them. I wonder how these look in full letters. Whoa, look at that M. That's a cool font. That M is crazy. Let's have a look. Do we have any glyphs? So a glyph is like a sort of a different way of drawing things. So I don't know if you can see it, it's quite small, but there's like some funky letters in here. Look at the Q, that's cool. Oh my God, this is gonna be so difficult. I love these fonts. All right, first up, creating outlines and I'm gonna sort of replicate something like this on this O and then we'll go from there. Okay, we've added the little twiddle. <laughs> Is that the word? Not at all. Are we gonna say it anyway? Yes, we are. I wonder how it would look with a little gap. I like that. I'm gonna make a gap in that. I quite like that. I think that's cool. So I'm gonna now move the W up a touch because I felt like it looked a little bit lost. Same with the B. Okay, cool. And then we are going to remove that ampersand and grab this one. And I'm thinking maybe we could stack them. So, ooh, in fact, I've just had an idea. 
So for this eye, I feel like that dot is just in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna just drag that down. I wonder if there's a way we could join the two L's together. We nudge everything up a touch. Or the O and the W, because then it sort of mirrors what the O is doing in this one. Maybe I'll just copy this over. So copy, because we could sort of adjust that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But what, instead of copying just that, I'm gonna get rid of the O and I'm going to copy this over. Copy, paste. Now, do I want this to join where it is or do I redo that and join it up here? I feel like the sensible non-lazy thing is to join it up there. <laughs> so let's do that. Part of me wants to tweak the ampersand because I feel like it's sort of obvious that I've pinched it from something else. So maybe I could join the ampersand together with another one of my little twiddly things. <laughs> I love the technical terms that I come up with. So it literally looks like it's all joined together. I really like that. I'm happy with that. And I like that the L's sort of fit into that B. Cool, one bat and willow. So, oh my God, that font that I really like, maybe I could use that on the word interiors. Ooh, another one of my favorites, agenda. We are gonna download that font. It's an Adobe font. Now, hear me out. I am thinking we could have this logo in two different ways. So this is common when you make up a, like a logo package, you display the logo in different ways. So you could display it like this where it's all like stacked on top of each other, or you could do it like the original way. Personally, my favorite one is this one because the words are different widths. So by adding the ampersand on the left, it balances it all out a little bit, but I am pretty happy with that, considering I've never done like a typeface logo thing like that before with the little glyphs on. Again, I'm gonna quickly find a photo and we'll drag it in and we'll see what it would look like. So I'm doing this one in Photoshop just because the file is big. This is literally the first image I found, but picture that, I feel like that'd be really cool. And then there's also this one. If we color it in white, I'm pretty pleased with that. I don't know. I don't know about you, don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Again, let me know what you think and let's get on to the third and final one. Also, if you have got this far into the video so far, please comment down below what your favourite animal is. Mine is, mainly because I got a teddy bear version of this for Valentine's Day, a koala bear. They're just so cute. Let me know in the comments. So for the third one, we have a logo from Lucy and her business is called Violet Moon. She makes handmade wax melts with a lot of dupe scents. Now, this one spoke to me because I instantly thought we can utilize the word moon. So again, went over to Pinterest, my favorite place, and found some inspiration images. So again, sort of similar vibes with the fonts, maybe something a little less flicky. <laughs> That's not, I don't know what I mean. With less glyphs and we're going to incorporate some moon elements of course and again keep it quite simple, nothing too fussy. That sort of seems to be the theme of this redesign video but I'm okay with that. So I actually have some elements that again I've downloaded from Envato and I'm gonna have a look at them and see which ones sort of shout to me um, and we'll use them. So this is the first one. 
Again, I've saved these all in a collection, so I will link it in the description. And there was one in particular. I like this. Grab that. So I'm literally just gonna grab the ones that I like. I'm gonna drag it into the file. Again, like I do with fonts, I might not use them all, but if I have them there, I can sort of visualize and see what I do and don't like. And I actually want that just in like regular black. So like that. And I also quite liked this with the flower in it, but now looking at it again, it does look a little bit too intricate for a logo. Though I do like this one. Then we've also got this file, which has loads of different moons in it. There were so many to choose from. I sort of got carried away again <laughs> and picked them all. You know what? I'm not sure any of them fit what I'm after. Maybe the closest is this one. So I'll copy that one in. All right, so we have a bunch of moons and now I'm gonna just find some fonts and then hopefully we can sort of pair them together. I really love this font here, the one that says whole soul because it's modern and fun without being too serious, but it's like the vibe that I think would look quite cool. And let's find some fonts. Okay, so I have some fonts. These are, I think all of them are from Envato. Straight up, don't like that one. I really like the ease on these two, they're quite similar. But I think I'm drawn more towards the bottom one. So we're gonna go with that. And let's see if they've got any glyphs. We do, nice. So if we go on here, alternates for current selection, it should show us any letters that have similar ones so the m has that and the n has one too so that's a really quick way of adjusting things surely the v has one v doesn't have one that's annoying so what i really like about this is like the h it's quite simple but it sort of speaks for itself and i really like that so maybe i can add that same glyph that's on the m or the n and put it on the v and we'll see how that goes. Or in theory, that's what we're gonna do. I just got in a complete trance, just fiddling away with that. Uh, you've obviously just seen what I've been doing, but I'm really happy with that. I think that's quite cute. Obviously it's very different to what she currently has, but I thought I would just figure it out. <laughs> so I'm thinking, right, I need to choose a moon and we want to incorporate that somehow. So we've got this one with the little stars on it i don't like the moon i do like the stars so i'll save that maybe we'll use that this one's quite cool maybe we could incorporate that this one on second thoughts not really that fussed about i like this one really simple nothing too fussy and i like this one but i feel like i'm drawn mostly to this one i'm gonna try this Do you know where it's like written over the top Maybe I could do like handmade wax melts. I don't know if that's gonna be long enough, but we can try. So if I do like an arch, convert that to type on a path tool, capital letters, handmade wax melts. This is cute. I'm impressed with this so far. So we want quite a simple, ooh, this one's cool. This is one that I downloaded earlier. Maybe we get it to say it twice because then it will fill it up. Not sure if that's the way to do it, but we're gonna do it anyway. That's cool. And you can adjust these slider things. So I'm gonna get it to be center aligned. And then this bar here is the center. That could look quite cool. Move that, make that a bit smaller. And I mean, this could be like a give or take. Like you could use that arch thing or you could get rid of it, or you could just literally write the same thing on the bottom. 
let's try that. So I'll just nudge this up here, copy this down, let's get rid of that archway and put handmade wax melts underneath. I think this font, I don't like that font. Let's go with something a little more simple. Classic agenda, let's go thin, boost the tracking, handmade wax melts, velvet moon, handmade wax melt, velvet, violet moon. I really like that. See, I don't know whether I'd go with this one, or this one. To be honest, I'm swaying towards this bottom one, but this would be the point where I'd send it back to the client and be like, which one do you like? Because I can't decide. <laughs> but yeah, you could like lay it out any way really, couldn't you? You could do the same as the interior design one and do it like long ways. This one's a work in progress, but I actually really like how it's turned out so far. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. It's turned out to be a very long one. I don't even know how long I've been sat here designing but i hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much if you did watch it to the very end let me know your favorite animal mine currently is a koala <laughs> so random but yeah let me know thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time for another one bye